Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Mining here. How are you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I want to give you guys an update of my crypto mining garage here, what I have so far in terms of mining rigs, and also we'll talk about my power consumption and my future plans in this garage, okay? And also we'll talk about how I'm doing the cooling and how the temperature is in my garage right now, okay? So you can see it's about 84 Fahrenheit and uh, over here it's about 81. So we're hovering between 81 and 84 Fahrenheit in this garage right now, which isn't too bad, all right? It's not humid, it's actually really dry, according to the thermostat here. So yeah, pretty dry, 10% humidity. All right, anyways, I want to do a few unboxings first that I received from a good old mineshop.eu and from Mining Chamber. I can't believe Mining Chamber sent me something. I don't know why he always sends me stuff, but I think we should ban that guy. All right, first, I wanna do this. Let's open up the mineshop.eu package and I'm not quite sure what it is. He said it's a surprise, uh, but let's see here. Uh, looks like we still need the knife. What the heck is this? Oh, no way. No. What? An RX 6800. Are you kidding me? Mineshop.eu. Guntis, are you serious? Why did. What? What? Okay, this is a Sapphire Nitro specifically. RX 6800, all right? This is not a 6900 or a 6800 XT. This is just the 6800. Oh my God, I'm so excited to try this. Oh man, I guess I have to do a hash rate video of this thing real soon. Actually, right after this video, I'm done. I'm gonna be playing around with this thing. Wow, Guntis, thank you so much for the Sapphire Nitro RX 6800. That is nuts, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna put that right up here and we will come back to that soon soon i'll have a dedicated video on that okay next package which is from mining chamber all right mining chamber what did you send me this is what he sent me he sent me some of his merchandise look at that oh man look at that Ooh. oh look at that made in china gamers hate us <laughs> oh my god that's awesome <laughs> Mining hub. Oh my god, this is that's funny. That's oh man, this is that's too good. Okay, and this one is choose your GPU. Oh man, it has the pictures of some GPUs there. But that's crazy. Mining chamber, dude. This merch is pretty nice looking. What is this? Mining rig addict. Oh man, I'm gonna have to open this one up. Let's open this. Oh, wait, this is not a shirt, this is pants. Mining chamber. That is sick, man. Thank you so much for the, I guess, the pants. Mining Chamber logo with Mining Rig Addict. Oh man, that's sick. And this looks like a sweater. Let me open this up as well. Oh, nice. Dude, look at that. Choose your GPU. Awesome, look at that. Choose your GPU. Mining Chamber, thank you so much for the merchandise, man. I will definitely, uh, I'll definitely wear this in public. I don't know about this one. I don't think I'll wear this one in public, but uh, this one, this one I will for sure. Gamers hate us. Uh, actually, this might be hard to wear in public as well, but hey, this is good. Mining Chamber, thank you so much for the merch, man. That is so awesome. Guys, if you wanna check out Mining Chamber's merch, I'll have it linked down below, all right? Oh man, good stuff. This is crazy, man. I got some merch and I got a 6800, that's nuts. This is the first AMD card, like 6000 series that I've received. So I cannot wait to do a hash rate video on that. Let me know if you guys are excited about that down below. Okay guys, now time to give you guys an update and just, you know, what's upcoming in my garage here. Uh, what I have planned and uh, hopefully I can figure out a cooling solution because summer is coming and you guys know what happens in summertime. 
everything gets exponentially hot. So I am wanting to just, I don't know, try to move my this table here out and I wanna move that shelf closer to where the air is being extracted outside. So I do have a, uh, this is just a extender for the PDU, uh, which goes into Space Goat's power meter, as you guys know, so let's go over there. And here is Space Goat's power meter. As you guys can see, we're utilizing about 5,070 watts, okay? So that consists of this 5x3070 rig, which I'm still waiting for another 3070 to fill out this whole rig. And then I have a 5x3080 rig, which I do have the Zotac, which is on my test bench right now. So this rig will be done really soon. And then I have a 6x Asus Tough 3080 rig down here, which is all done really nice, but uh, it does thermal throttle a little bit. And then I do have this nice <laughs> EVGA 3080 for the win 3 edition rig. You guys know this one that I just made recently. And uh, this thing is a workhorse, but unfortunately I do have one bad silicon lottery for the win 3. But all the rest of them are able to get about 100 mega hash at an efficient 227 watts. Okay, so pretty nice. And thanks again to AAA Wave for sending me this 12 GPU mining frame. This is their new revision, version two, and I really like it. Really easy to make and really sturdy. So I'm hoping that I can get some more from them and I hope to build more of these in the future. I really like how the fan placement is as well. I'm actually thinking of swapping the fans over the other side so that the hot air will be blowing this way. And uh, of course, I do not wanna keep this mining rig in the center of my garage here, so I wanna move that out uh, to somewhere over there. So when I, I'm not gonna do it in this video, but when I uh, add the extender for my PDU and uh, for all my power cables and such, I'm gonna roll the whole shelf closer to uh, where the outtake is for my garage here. So now this is where I wanna talk about my exhaust fan. So take a look at this. I have the heat exhausting out the window right now and this has drastically helped the lowering of the temperatures in this place okay so yeah all the air is being extracted out the window right now and it's helping a lot and then i have a lot of cold air pushing in this way i'm actually thinking of uh, replacing these windows with uh, more black mesh so i have more cold air coming in so i'm gonna do that so yeah that i'm hoping to roll that shelf more closer to this way i'm gonna get rid of everything here and also I wanna put my EVGA rig uh, somewhere on the floor, not on the floor, but I'll have some platform of some sort. I'm not sure what, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna be essentially getting rid of these two desks because I do want to roll a car in here, not roll, but drive a car into here. So I'm not sure <laughs> if it might be possible or not, but actually I'm still debating if I'm gonna keep all these boxes here or bring them to my uh, crypto mining barn, which uh, there's a lot more space over there. So yeah, that's my update of uh, what I have going on in terms of my heat and how I'm gonna fix it. I mean, it's not too hot in here, but I'm hoping to, if I move all my rigs closer to where the door is and where the cold air is coming, then it's gonna be, hopefully have less heat in here, okay? So, okay, and finally guys, I wanna end off with talking about some future projects. So I have a, uh, this is an older, this is the first version, the AAA Wave, uh, the sluice mining frame. I think I have confirmed five 3070s, maybe a sixth one, and uh, maybe some 3060s as well that may be coming. And I'm gonna be doing a rig build. So uh, I'm pretty much ready. I do have a uh, ASRock BTC Plus Pro motherboard, which I'm gonna utilize. And then I have a few 1200 watt power supplies. Oh, thank you to mineshop.eu. He actually sent me three power supplies, uh, two 1200 watt. These are the gold edition uh, Ledex 2. I've actually never heard of this brand before. I think it's called Superflower. And as well as a Colink 1200 watt platinum 1200 watt power supply, uh, which I've never used these before. I've actually never heard of Colink either. So uh, I'm hoping to utilize one of these power supplies for the 63070s or 53070s, and we'll see how that works. But I do have an extra 1200 watt and a 2000 watt if I need to use it. And actually, just recently to tell you guys a story, I have a burnt Corsair RM850X. Now, it doesn't look burnt on here, but I had a mining 
mining rig that turned off recently and it like it just made this power supply decide to die and uh, so it's this mining rig right here okay so this is just another hodgepodge of cards kind of like my testing rig kind of that sits where I do like my other testing and you guys know my my Zotac uh, 3080 right here which I just tested it's doing awesome but I have this rig here, so it has a RX 5700 XT. This is the Asus Strix version, and then I have a MSI 1660 Ti, and then I have my 3060 Ti on this side. This is the Ventus version, okay? So, so yeah, I had this 850 watt uh, right here, and uh, I, I think I had a power outage of some sort, and so when I tried to turn the rig back on, the power supply started to smoke, and I'm not using any SATA, I'm not using anything like that, so, I have a feeling when the power went out, it must have short-circuited or surged this uh, power supply. So I'm going to have to do an RMA uh, to Corsair on that. And then I have it replaced with a 850 watt uh, EVGA G3. Okay, so yeah, it's been going good. Okay, and uh, another few projects I have going on, guys. I do have my uh, Zotac 3060 here, which I have not... Uh, put in a rig yet so I'm hoping to do another build of potentially some 3060s so I do have some 3060s that may be coming soon and as well as I want to do a possibly a live stream or something I'm not sure what I want to do with this this is a uh, Space Goats sent me a water-cooled 5700 XT okay and specifically uh, it came with this uh, originally it had this cooler on it this is a Vision Tech RX 5700 XT so I'm thinking of uh, just putting the stock cooler back on, but I was also thinking of a fun project. I'm trying to find like an AIO that will fit on these two holes here. I'm not sure if I need like custom fittings. I've never done water cooling before, so that's gonna be something I will figure out. But you know, I was hoping to uh, just, I have a whole bunch of thermal pads here, minus pads eight and different uh, millimeter thermal pads and stuff that I want to potentially just put this, you know, stock cooler back on. And I'm probably just gonna do that, but if you guys have any ideas <laughs> if I should try and do a water cooling thing with this thing, let me know. I, I don't know. I'm hoping you guys will tell me just do the, uh, you know, the regular cooler. But this might be something fun if I have time and if I'm interested. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. And just an update of my crypto mining garage. Really nothing too exciting. Just want to keep you guys updated. But yeah, I'm going to offline do a lot of work, move everything, move these desks out. And hopefully I can maybe potentially fit a car in here. I guess we'll see. We'll do a test. Okay, my friends, thank you so much. Mineshop.eu, thank you so much for the RX 6800. That is nuts. And I will have a video about this guy really soon. Okay, my friends. And Mining Chamber. Oh, I can't believe you, man. How could you send me something like this? This is this is just crazy. Guys, Mining Chamber, thank you so much. Guys, go check out Mining Chamber. He has an amazing YouTube channel. Amazing videos, better than mine. He's so informative, very informational. And also go check out his merch. Link down below, my friends. Okay, so thank you so much, Mining Chamber. My friends, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.